Hi everyone. Um, this is um, like the first poem that I've ever published and also recited, so bear with me. It's called What We Want to See. What we want is not out of our reach. Food is plenty, shelter is ready, justice resting in the hands of our communities. Buried deep in the human spirit, the soil from which our actions grow, rests the seed of witnessing. When we meet eyes with someone in pain, we share that pain, often to our own detriment and overwhelm. But that is further cause to hold each other closer and heal in warmth, heartbeats in close proximity. Our bonds are strong braided cords. When people gather in the thousands, millions, to cry for those who are suffering, our cord strengthens. It tugs on us to join the pull. It is natural to listen to our human instinct to reach for each other. A feeling that abounds plentifully, but must be protected from the forces that seek to control our hands as we weave. These are not far-fetched ideas strewn among the clouds like dissipating atoms in anxious humidity. We want the heat of our efforts to rise into a powerful storm. We'll hold onto our cord with paling knuckles and tug the war out of our opponent's grasp, reeling the ties we made back to safety because if one of us wins, then it's easier for others to win. We will teach lessons of honesty and integrity from an earned place of ease, not merely because we scraped by and survived, but because we found ways to keep each other strong and jubilant. Our tools of interconnectedness will serve their intended purpose no longer, working to alienate us no longer in favor of the voices of the few. We must remain vigilant in these times of international Sorry. In these times of international uproar, we must pay attention to the wear in a stranger's eye. We must learn each other's ailments and remedies. Once recovered, we must continue to be curious and cultivate a competitive spirit to overcome future sickness. What can we do as a household, neighborhood, city, state, region, and international body with shared visions of the future? What would it take to increase aid to lift yourself and others out of perpetual danger and fear? What would it take to become who we were truly meant to be? How much stronger can you become against the apathetic tide of authority? How can you hold fast with the energy you expend daily, initiate the unbecoming of your inner colonies, work towards seeing liberation in the corners of your eyes because it's there, a global relearning, an overdue celebration, should the ground beneath us leap for joy? Should the waves invite themselves into our homes? Should our air become ripe with consequence? We will still cheer. We will still laugh for ourselves and for each other as we collectively discover liberation. We want to see collective liberation. We want to see collective liberation. We want to see collective liberation. Thank you.